What is up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Don't know if you've seen the video on my review and using an actual application, the Army Painter Tweezers. I think they're a great product. I think everybody should have some tweezers in their arsenal. Brushes, tweezers, some hobby uh, knives and putty tools, things of that nature. I think tweezers are definitely one that you don't realize you need or that you're missing until you don't have them and you wanna do transfers or you wanna apply some static grass to bases. Having tweezers on hand is really good. So um, you can check that video out and see how I used it to do the base work as well as apply some transfers. I also used the, transfer, uh, the tweezers to put the transfers on this guy, Canyon Gate. And uh, so these are my test models all finished black rim bases like I do with all of my models I'm gonna highlight do the transfers do the final details uh, add the basing and then the black around the rims of the bases are gonna be the uh, indicator that they're finished I think this is a lady more feminine face um, so the black around the bases means that they're done so I'm gonna add them to the that means I've got three models completely finished for my challenge and uh, I'm pretty far behind still with everything else, slowly working my way through these um, highlight colors and I think what I'm going to do to uh, really hone in on what I'm working on is I'm going to rank them up like I have them in other videos and then just as I finish doing a highlight I'm gonna flip them around if, as I finish the next one like if I start in the uniform flip them around line them all up and then uh, when I do the armor I'll flip them around so I can see where my progress is instead of just having them be in one messy clump like that which is just for ease of, of grabbing but uh, I'm pretty happy with my test models it's always good to have a test model so you can have a direction of where you're going and so that's gonna be that my goal this week, week four, is uh, to really catch up with my highlighting, to knock out the tutorial for the Sentinel, as well as the field gun, which I'm working on right now. I'm uh, thinking that I'm going to really need those extra three days at the end of it, the like week five, because I'm also doing, I don't know if you've seen, but I'm uh, reviewing what I'm getting for my Ho Heroes of Hobbyton mini game for my patrons. I'm also... Uh, doing a bunch of zombie tutorials. Uh, zombies are some of my favorite miniatures to paint and I'm just doing some alternate color schemes just to bump up my creativity. So that's what I'm working on. But I'm, I'm pleased that I got to work on the medic here. Interesting model with a folded up stretcher. I didn't notice this, but he's got, he's got a hacksaw right there or hacking up, hacking up dead bodies. Oh, I, I guess I missed this part. I'm gonna have to paint that. All right, trooper, ready ready for action. Hope you guys are doing well out there. My question of the day is, uh, oh yeah, th those are my goals. P pretty much just finish everything up as much as I can. Uh, if I need to bleed over, then I will, I will hold off on the transfers and the basing until week five, but I really wanna knock out the highlights as well as the two big tutorials for the big machines. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, join the Discord if you're not already there. We're getting new Discord members every day and uh, we'd love to see you over there. Join the painting challenge. The summer painting challenge is uh, high, in high gear and we've got people catching up, uh, starting their challenges. We've already got a great group of uh, trailblazers that are almost uh, done with week four or getting into week four and uh, almost done with their projects. So uh, it's a great place to be if you need some motivation to paint and get those gray models finished. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for day number 23.